Hello and welcome to Exploring Therapeutic Sound today with myself, Tessa Ann. Um, this workshop I'm delivering for Complementary Therapy Week and I'm happy to be delivering this as a member of Complementary Health Professionals. So a bit about myself. I'm a therapeutic sound practitioner of 10 years now and I also have worked with sound and music for 25 years. I qualified as a yoga teacher about five years ago and I'm also a qualified EFT practitioner. Sound being my main focus though um, sees me deliver many different types of sessions on a day-to-day -day basis and these include the delivery of sound baths, group sessions, corporate sessions, one-to-one -one client sessions and training for students. So my school, the Sound Healing Spa School, delivers CPD and accredited training. It's also a registered school with the complementary health professionals. So some of the courses that we deliver go right from CPD through to diploma, and they're suitable for beginners going through to the more experienced and advanced. So they're courses designed to take someone from the beginning stages of their, their therapeutic sound journey through to those who have a therapeutic practice, wishing to enhance their practice with sound. And also there are products, training products there for people who have qualified, students who have qualified as therapeutic sound practitioners that perhaps want to deepen that practice. Other ways in which we support our students is through the provision of instruments which support students when they're training. It also supports them whenever they move on to set up their own practice. Another service which we deliver is business coaching. So again, it's tailored coaching to provide a therapist or a practitioner with specific skills and knowledge to incorporate therapeutic sound techniques that are relevant to you and your practice and also relevant to you and how you wish to work. During this particular session today, I'll be bringing you an experiential introduction to therapeutic sound so that you may connect a bit more with sound to notice the effects of sound for you. It's amazing what you can find out about yourself and find out about your connection with sound, even in a short session like this. So what is therapeutic sound? There are so many descriptions for therapeutic sound. But this one, I feel, just gives you a basic overview. So it's sound which is used for the purposes of bringing therapeutic benefits to a client. Um, therapeutic benefits can range from many things. It could be relaxation, feeling good, clarity of mind, all of those things. Therapeutic sound is also known as sound healing or sound therapy. It's a form of vibrational healing or vibrational medicine. practice of therapeutic sound uses sound vibration to help relax and reduce stress in the body. When you're more relaxed and less stressed, it's easier for, you, it's easier for your body to activate its own natural healing mechanisms. Examples of therapeutic sound benefits are the relief of pain, relief of uncomfortable symptoms that are associated with a physical condition, clarity of mind, reduction in stress or anxiety, and even relief of particular hearing conditions. So tinnitus would be one that uh, I would find many clients experience relief of quite on a, on a regular basis. I use therapeutic sound a lot to help clients relax and balance. There are specific therapeutic sound techniques such as brain entrainment or the use of, of particular sounds and tones to promote relaxation, to balance the brain's hemispheres and to improve overall well-being. The use of sound in this way also helps on, ma on many occasions to ease areas of discomfort in the body. The types of instruments typically used by a therapeutic sound practitioner are Tibetan singing bowls, crystal singing bowls, gongs, drums, percussion, voice, and recorded sounds.
but so that you may connect with sound in a way that perhaps you, you haven't taken the time to connect with it. I'm going to take you through this introduction to therapeutic sound by listening. And listening is a very important part of working with sound. I invite you to take some time to listen to the types of sounds used in a therapeutic sound session. Take the time to notice how you feel. And at the end of each listening experience, take a few moments to make some notes on how you feel. So I invite you now to prepare yourself comfortably on your chair. Take a few deep breaths in and out. Set an intention for yourself today. Perhaps it's what you would like to gain from listening to these sounds. Perhaps it's a state that you wish to be in right now, in this moment. So set your own personal intention. And when you state your intention to yourself, Notice how you feel. Notice how your words feel to you in this moment. I invite you to take a minute to listen to the sound of Tibetan singing bowls. take a minute to make some notes or to reflect on how you feel after listening to these sounds. I invite you now to listen to the sounds of the crystal singing bowls.
now make some notes or reflect on how you feel after listening to these sounds. I invite you now to take a minute to listen to the sound of the gongs. Made some notes on how you feel. Then finally, I invite you to listen to the sounds of the rain stick and shakers. Now take a few moments to make some notes on how you feel or just simply reflect. Begin to bring yourself around again, even though you've 
finished the listening experiences by writing some notes. Bring a bit more movement into your body as you begin to bring yourself around again. Check in with the intention that you have set for yourself. Notice how your words feel now. Do they feel the same or have they changed in some way? If they have changed in some way, what does this mean for you? The change can happen very quickly and sound is a great way of reminding us of that. And checking in with our intention can help remind us of that also, how it can change in a few short moments. So thank you for listening. As I mentioned earlier, this is the most important part, it's most important when working with sound. And when you listen to, when you experience and understand the effects of sound for yourself, it prepares you to share sound with others. If you would like to share your experiences from today, from this session, or to find out more about the Sound Healing Spa short courses and diplomas, you're welcome to contact me by email to tessa at thesoundhealingspa.com. For now though, enjoy the rest of your day listening to the sounds around you. Thank you again.